Good morning everyone. You know what time it is. It's coffee time, but unfortunately I finished it already. It's another beautiful morning in Bali. I don't know whether you can see. I'm here a little bit earlier than normal, uh, just because I woke up quite early this morning. And that's quite, that's, that's normal. Whenever you're in a harsh calorie deficit, this is day, only day four. But because my calories are so low, I'm over like a thousand calorie deficit every single day. Yesterday I only had 1,000, less than 1,700, I think it was 1,600 and something calories, which is not a lot for me at all. I also did close to two hours of walking and the trained arms. So every single day this week, it's been like over a thousand calorie deficit and it gets real hard, real fast. So if you're ever, um, you find yourself dieting and you start to feel like shit, just understand that it's completely normal. And also sleep gets a little bit more difficult as well. Your body just doesn't want to sleep when it thinks it's starving. So it's like, hey, go wake up, go find food. So I was up quite early this morning. Um, I feel good, but my whole body is aching all over. Even my legs are aching just from the walking. And today is leg day, which I'm, you know, I'm not super excited about training legs, I'll be honest with you, uh, but I do have uh, a refeed day tonight. So I'm gonna go to All You Can Eat Steakhouse. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep it pretty sensible because usually when I go there, I end up eating far too much and undoing days or whole weeks worth of dieting. I'm not going to make that mistake tonight. I might even take some scales with me so I know exactly how much I'm eating, but I'm really looking forward to that. However, that is a long way away right now. I've got like 11 hours to wait before that. So um, I'm going to have a leg session. I've got quite a bit of work to do as well. I'm still training my videographer. So that is probably my main focus for today. And I've got some other work to do. Um, I am going to hit a nice long walk down the beach, get some sun, and I'll see you in a bit. Honestly guys, I thought I'd be looking a little bit leaner than I am. Uh, the way I feel right now, I feel so depleted and tired. I feel like I, I should be 6% body fat, but we're not. So it's always important to remember like when you're cutting, with, when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to building muscle, um, progress is not linear. So don't get disheartened, okay? Things never happen in a straight line. You might feel like no fat loss is occurring at all, and then it all happens at once. Um, but we're just going to have to keep pressing on. Today is leg day. Now, I really want to take it easy today because of how depleted and tired I feel. So because of that, we're going to do some heavy back squats because my mind is telling me to be a little bitch. So we're going to show the mind who the fuck is boss by doing some heavy squats that I really don't want to do. Okay, so three plates aside, 140 kg. I can't remember the last time I did this, to be honest. I used to do this for like 10 reps, if not more. I'm definitely not going to do that today. But well, never say never. But uh, obviously this is day four of the extreme barley shreds diet. Uh, one thing that I did underestimate is how much muscle soreness in my legs, uh, how sore my legs would be with all this walking. So I'm doing under 2000 calories a day and two hours of walking and my legs are fucked already and I haven't even trained them yet. But um, we're just going to forget about that for the next 50 minutes or so and push it on. Come on. Yeah. 
Ow. <sighs> All right, set two, because I only got five reps then. I like to do, I like to work in the higher rep ranges. So I'm just taking a plate off, two plates aside, aim for a lot more reps now. Set three. Okay, so second exercise, I'm doing calves. And the reason I'm doing calves seconds, well, there's two reasons. The first one, the most important one, is that calves is like probably my highest priority muscle group that I need to improve. Like from an aesthetics point of view, my calves need more work than any other muscle group. So whenever you want to prioritize a muscle, you want to train them earlier on in the workout when you have more energy and more concentration and focus because whichever exercise, whichever muscles you train first will get the most growth. Um, so obviously I've done squats. Um, the second reason is because I've done squats, obviously it's very energy taxing, whereas to train calves, it doesn't take up a lot of energy. So it's kind of a good exercise to do now to help me recover a little bit more before I do some of the other exercises which are more taxing. That's the full stack, so if you're ever at the full stack and you want to make it harder, you can either slow your reps down or just do more reps, which is not ideal, but sometimes you just got to work with what you got. And in this gym, there's no calf raise. I like a standing calf raise, to be honest. I'd say that's my favorite calf exercise, but we don't have one. And you could try and do it on the Smith machine, but I don't really like it. So I'd say in this gym, 
the best option for training calves is, is using the leg press. Okay, exercise number three, full range of motion leg extension. In my opinion, the best quad development exercise. Okay, set two. All right, set three. exercise lion hamstring curl <clears throat> mm. I always feel like I get a better contraction on this when I don't go too heavy and really focus on control Okay, set two. Come on, man. Set three, last set. Okay, so that is four exercises done. Squats, calf raise, leg extension, leg curl. That is what I would call a minimal viable leg session because I'm so drained. Energy is super low. We're just doing the bare minimum to get by, to maintain the muscle that we have. Hopefully add a little bit more muscle on the calves. But primarily right now, the goal is to get lean, so that is definitely enough volume. That is a 45 minute workout done. Now I'm just gonna keep the food pretty low for the rest of the day. And then I've got an all you can eat steak to look forward to tonight.